Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. Today we are going to solve one exponential equation 1 power x plus 10 power x is equal to 100 power x in different style. So let us start. I will consider 1 raised to the power x is equal to 1 for any real value of x. This is point number 1. Anyone can write whether x is positive or negative or 0, that value will be flat 1. Come to second point. 100 can be written as 10 square and third is property of exponent or exponent rule that is a raised to the power m power n can be written as a power n power m. We can change the position of exponents as per our need. So I am going to apply all the three points to this equation. So equation will be 1 plus 10 power x is equal to 10 power 2 power x. The next step, the third rule, exponent rule, 10 power x whole square. Now let us put 10 raised to the power x is equal to y. Equation will be 1 plus y equal to y square. In other words, y square minus y minus 1 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation. So, of course, quadratic formula will come into the picture. If you compare a is the coefficient of y square is a 1, coefficient of y is b that is negative 1, the constant term is c that is again negative 1. Now, we will write the quadratic formula. So y will be equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Let me put the value. So minus b, so 1, minus of minus 1, 1 plus minus square root b square negative 1 square 1 minus 4 times 1, so 4 times negative 1. Let me write one time minus 1 over 2. 2 times 1 means 2. So 1 plus minus square root 1 plus minus times minus plus 2 times 1, 2. So it will be 1 plus minus square root 5 divided by 2. This is our solution of this quadratic equation. So y value will be this. Now one important point. If we presume 10 raised to the power x is equal to y, that means y must be positive. Because 10 raised to the power x cannot be negative or 0. Whether you are putting x positive, negative or 0, 10 raised to the power x cannot be negative. So remember this thing, y is always positive. So if we observe, there are two solutions. So let me write y equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and y equal to 1 minus square root 5 over 2. If you check this value, root 5 is more than 2, 2.1. 1 minus 2.1, so negative value. This is y negative. And see the consideration. Because we consider 10 raised to the power x is equal to y, that means y will be always positive. So this solution will be rejected. This will be rejected. So what is left? That is y equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. y means 10 raised to the power x is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Let us solve for value of x. So 10 raised to the power x is equal to 1 plus square root 5 over 2. Take log. So by taking log both sides, what we will be getting? x log 10 equal to log of 1 plus square root 5 over 2. Easy. 
now two things first one is log 10 is equal to always 1 because log means base is 10 so you can any time write log 10 over log 10 so value is second property of log is there let me write a b log a over b can be written as log a minus log 2 so let's apply x times log 10 1 so x will be equal to log 1 plus root 5 log a minus log b so log 2 done now let's put the value of root 5 now let me write all the value first root 5 is root 5 is 2.23606 log 2 is 0 0.3013010 now let's put so x will be equal to let me write that equation this equation i am writing x will be equal to log 1 plus root 5 root 5 is 2.23606 so that value will be 3.23606 minus log 2 is 0 0.3010. Again, you can put this value log 3.23606. The value is 0 0.51 minus 0 0.3010. So if you take away 0 0.3010 from there, so that value will come out. X will be equal to 0 0.2089. See, this is different method. I have solved this question. If you want to attempt division method also, so we can apply that division method. So thank you so much for watching. This is something new for you. So if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do subscribe, give like impression also and motivate me. Thank you.